Hello, welcome to Japanese Craft Beer Reviews. Uh, today we're going to begin a series of 24 beers from the Kalea Brewers Advent Calendar available at Costco in many countries around the world. If you've already seen this or you don't care to have this introduction, you can skip ahead uh, a couple of minutes, a minute and a half or so to the beer. Uh, Kalea is a company based in Salzburg, Austria, and they were founded in 2010. Apparently, Kalea means giving joy in Hawaiian. And Advent, of course, is the Christian uh, season to uh, prepare for Christmas. And it begins on the fourth Sunday before Christmas, this year, uh, November 27th to December 24th. I will start on December 1st because I have 24 beers leading up to Christmas Eve. Uh, Adventus in Latin means arrival or visit. And it is actually the beginning of the uh, liturgical year for uh, many Christian groups. And uh, Advent calendars, of course, are popular commercial items. There are many types, chocolate, cosmetics, coffee, uh, even lip balm. Uh, but I prefer uh, beer. And that's what I'm going to be reviewing here. Um, and let's take a look at what we have here. In terms of Bundeslander or German states, uh, there are 15 beers from Bavaria, three from Baden-Württemberg, two from Hamburg, two from Austria, one from Saxony, and one from North Rhine-Westphalia. Styles, there are eight Helles Dortmunders, and four Merzen or Oktoberfest, three Pilsners, two Weissbier or Hefeweizen, and one each of Amber Lager, Vienna, Bach, Pale Ale, Stout, and Traditional Ale and one Weizenbach and one Zwickel or Keller beer. So I'm looking forward to getting into these. Again, there will be 24 beers. Uh, and once again, if you don't want to hear this introduction again, next time you can just skip over it, okay? All right, well, let's get into the first of the beers uh, from the Kalea Brewers Advent Calendar 2002. And here we are with the eighth day of the Kalea Brewer's Advent calendar for 2022. And it's uh, kind of, it's going to be an unusual beer, I think. Uh, this one is called Lusuanitzer Stein Beer, Dark, Dark Especial. And this is a, a Stein beer, uh, or sometimes this called a traditional beer. Um, and it's probably one of the more unusual ones in this case of 24 ad Advent calendar beers. Uh, Stein beers are, uh, you don't see them very often, and they are, the, the mashing process is a little bit different. They're not uh, mashed in traditional tanks or traditional pots at all. Um, they are mashed in wooden tubs, and in order to increase, to get the heat up for the mashing, uh, hot stones are dropped in to the tub. Now, that is uh, the way it should be done. I'm not sure exactly how they've done it here. Uh, whether they've done it in wood tubs or not. But uh, generally this should give a kind of caramely and sort of dark char or even sooty sort of note. Uh, some people uh, say it's kind of smoky as well. Um, so uh, this is 5.6% and uh, and on rate beer, it has 31 ratings only, 3.33 uh, out of 5, 64 percentile for all beers on rate beer, and 85 percentile for its style, which is uh, traditional ale on rate beer, traditional ale other. Uh, on Untapped, it's called a historical beer da uh, dash Stein beer. It has 9,184 ratings, and the average is uh, typically uh, with uh, untapped a little bit higher, uh, 3.48. Uh, the brewery has 49 beers on untapped, and an average rating of 3.14 out of 5, not terribly high. Now, the brewery is supposed to be Zwanitzer, uh, and it's called Brewery Gasthof Zwanitzer. And maybe something like a brew pub, but on the back it says it's brewed by H. Egerer, uh, which is a, a, a different place. So perhaps it is contract brewed, I am not sure exactly. Uh, the brewery, Zwanitzer, uh, was opened from 1862 to 1922, and apparently they closed for quite a while, and they reopened in 1997. 
uh, and it's located about 120 kilometers uh, southwest of Dresden and close to uh, the border with the Czech, uh, the Czech Republic. Okay, so let's give this one a go. Uh, a traditional style uh, with hot stones dropped in to perform the mashing, to raise the heat for mashing. Kind of unusual. Dark especial. Okay, it is dark, kind of dark, uh, dark amber cherry color with a sort of off-white, off-white head of foam, nice fat finger. Okay, definitely very caramelly. Something like a Märzen perhaps to me. Uh, Caramel, some light spiciness, something like maybe cinnamon or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, light caramel, a bit thin and mid palate, a touch metallic. Mm. Okay. I wouldn't call this a smoke beer. Some people have said it's smoky. Um, it does have a tinge of uh, dark roastiness, perhaps, but uh, maybe a touch of smoke. If you've ever had uh, Schlenkerlaus Märzen, uh, their smoked Märzen, that's, uh, this is somewhat like that, uh, but not quite as strong. That's a really, really heavy smoke beer. Uh, it's like smoked ham almost. This is a tiny bit, but again, it's not smoked malt apparently, but simply hot rocks put in to kind of raise the temperature for mashing. This is pleasant, light, uh, very thin. Um, I could probably rate this maybe 3.3 .3 out of 5, something like that, not much higher. Anyway, interesting, and probably, you know, again, one of the more unusual beers in the Advent calendar for uh, 2022. Again, it's called uh, Zwanitzer Steinbeer uh, from Browery Gasthaus uh, Zwanitz and apparently contract brewed by H. Egerer. Okay. Uh, any case, uh, so we're at number eight now, so we're a third of the way through the Advent calendar and I've had some interesting beers. Uh, the quality has been uh, average to good. And so I've been kind of pleased. These are unfamiliar breweries to me, um, uh, really, all of them. And uh, but the quality, uh, you know, is uh, even even for the ones that seem massive produced or industrial, uh, seem pretty pretty good. So lucky Germans, huh? All right, that's it for today. Take care. Bye bye.